Welcome to this channel. The channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So today I'd like to share with you two building blocks of the Wing Chun 1850 or the anti Qing Wing Chun. This two building block is very critical and you need to know that this thing exists. Now, the reason why I'm sharing this today is because in the previous YouTube, I share the Hendrik transform. That Hendrik transform is not my invention. It is the core, the foundations of the Wing Chun 1850, which is the anti Qing Wing Chun, based on Shaolin, based on General Chi Chi Guang. Now, after I share that, many of our Wing Chuners friends have messaged me. Some friends ask me what I'm sharing on the Hendrik Transform. Is it my upgrade or update of Wing Chun beyond the Wing Chun today or Wing Chun 1870? So I explained to them that no, I am just like the Horatio telling the story of Hamlet. I did not update or upgrade anything. I just using today's language to share with you what is going on for the foundations of Wing Chun, which is no longer exist since 1870 until today. There's the foundations that is the soul of the art need to be trained or else one cannot play the momentum game. Now, another issue come up. So many of our Wing Chun friends worldwide is asking me, how come for past 130 years, nobody tell us about this thing. Well, I like to share with you something which is the truth of the Chinese culture in martial art or in art or in art, any type of art or in Buddhist study, meditation and so forth. Since the beginning of 1900, most Chinese today do not be able to read the classical Chinese anymore. So since 1900, the Chinese changed the language to modernize Chinese language. And at the end of that, uh, the Chinese uh, classical not too many people can read it. They don't know what it is. Not to mention that there's a lot of classical which is uh, destroyed in the Chinese cultural revolutions. For example, the 1850s Wing Chun classical writing is destroyed in China in the Cultural Revolution is gone completely. Another thing have to be watch out is this regard of it is the Taoist meditations or the Qigong or martial arts or the Buddhist uh, cultivations uh, document 
knowing the Chinese term itself doesn't do the job. You need to have to uh, up to the level in order to be able to to present what is it written in the classical document. Okay. So there is no way. For example, like today, you take the Chinese language, you put in the Google, you do a translation. You will not get anything out of it. Because language, the Chinese language, need the, uh, the, 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 the level of experience in order to be able to, uh, to, 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 to present, to know to explain what is it, okay? It, it is really simple, like uh, the Jena Chi Chi Guang classic. You see, in the West, until my book, the Kung Fu 1560 come out, there is no uh, uh, close to the meaning of Chi Chi Guang's translations in the West. People using Tai Chi idea to translate uh, this guy's idea, that guy's idea. They simply do not translate that thing. Chi Chi Guang is talking about momentum. But you look at all the translation, there's no momentum, there is posture, and this and that and that. Because if you are not up to that level, you don't know what it is. It's just like a like for example, if we do not know how to make pizza, we will not be able to know what is the pizza recipes is talking about compared with those chefs of pizza who know. Oh, pizza, you add this, that, this, it tastes this way, this way, this way. For us, it's just like, onion and pepper it just words it doesn't mean anything but words but for the chef onion is onion pepper is pepper they they, they have that level of uh, experience so chinese classic is not that everybody can uh, translate it and have their own opinion and their own uh, interpretations. Not to mention, now I'll get to Wing Chun. For the past 130 years, the entire Wing Chun is just circle on the surface. Circle on the surface. It doesn't have the momentum content there. And there's a reason why today uh, in Wing Chun, even if you go to chat GPT, you say, well, Wing Chun is a concept-based art. And many say, well, you train Wing Chun one way, you fight another way. Well, that is obviously that people don't know what is Wing Chun. It's like people never taste pizza before. So they start to take the recipe of pizza and start to have their interpretations. It can be anything. It can be a concept of pizza, but what is pizza? Nobody knows. Because they never taste it. They never cook it. Now, there's also the reason why Bruce Lee called Wing Chun is a land swimming. Nobody can deny that. Why? Because there are ingredients which is missing. When Bruce Lee looked for it, he couldn't find it. That's why he said this is a land swimming. So, today I'm going to share with you on the two very important keys building block, which is missing since 100, 
30 years ago, since the creations of modern Wing Chun 1870 by the Pro Ching actors, actor in the rainbow. Okay. So you can see how the entire thing, in fact, what you see in the movie, what you see many, many people uh, follow is wrong. It is wrong. It is not accord to what the Wing Chun uh, 1850 or the En Hai Ching, uh, the, 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 the Masha, the fighting, which is prepared for the fighting, for the uprising. Now, before I get into the details for you today, number one, you might not want to watch this video because after you watch this video, you cross the line of no return. Okay, so stop this video now if you don't want to watch it. Second, I'm saying this is again, I say I'm like, Horatio telling the story of Hamlet. Do I respect all those uh, seafoods of Wing Chun in the past 130 years? Sure. As I always say, it's like I respect my, my father, my grandfather. But uh, whatever the truth, whatever the reality, whatever the facts, is technical is not to do with those respect or disrespect. You need to say if this the, the, the technical truth is is wrong, it's problematic. So people need to know this, okay? And uh, what I'm saying here is all based on the the uh, Wing Chun 1850s classic based on Southern Substract, which is the mother art of uh, Wing Chun 1850. It's based on General Chi Chi Guang because it's offspring or the evolution. And uh, so, of course, I want, I need to show you the evidence on what I'm going to share with you. And here on, I know many, many Wing Chuner might no longer do what they are doing today after they go through this video. So it is a, a responsibility, a duty to tell you where, what I'm talking about is based from by evidence. Okay, so what I'm going to share with you is actually in the beginning of the uh, Wing Chun 1850s writing. So the most base part, the first part of the uh, the, the, the Wing Chun 1850 classic, the Shudim Ta classic, the first part, the base part, is actually from Shaolin Sword Strike. Unless you have Shaolin Sword Strike, you will not be able to decode what it is. Unless you know what it is, you will never be able to tell what it is. So what I'm going to share with you today, that these two building blocks, is actually take a snapshot here on this passage here. So this is uh, from my book, Restracting Wing Chun, okay? And also this page, you can take a snapshot. And also this page. So this is from South Insta Strike and uh, the uh, Wing Chun 1850. And uh, as in the Restructing Wing Chun, it shows you how it is actually evolved from General Chi Chi Guang. 
Now, in the writing, in the writing, which you just take a snapshot, down there it say that, okay, so it say, eyes must track hand, hand must track heart, hand issue from heart. That's what we have explained before, and everybody know about hand issue from heart, right? And then uh, it continue on stretching and retracting. Uh, that is contract and extending. We have go through that before. Now, we get to this last part. Slow movement is as a calm, smooth wave. Intense movement is as a violent wave like tornado, smooth wave, calm smooth wave, is like you see the wave in the lake, okay? Now, in Chinese, you say jing ru ping bo, still as the wave of the lake, dong ruo fan jiang, uh, move, as the tsunami, okay, or, or huge uh, tidal wave. So I translate here, is slow movement is as calm, smooth wave, intense, and fast movement is as a violent wave. Now, this is there, it's not just for philosophical conceptual, no, it is not, it is explaining the two really important uh, building block of a fighting art, a momentum-based fighting art, okay? So in this really simple, just now you take a snapshot where the eyes track hand, hand must track heart, hand issue from heart, contract, and then uh, uh, stretching and retract. And now this the third, the third thing, Slow movement is as calm, smooth wave, intense, and fast movement is as a violent wave. You talk about three things, right? This is the last thing. The previous two, the contract, uh, extend, the, uh, the, the stretching, retract, I have already shared with you before. Same with the hand issue from heart. Now, this intense and fast movement is as a violent wave movement, uh, slow movement is calm, smooth wave. This is extremely critical building blocks. However, this building block need to be based on, remember the Hendrik transform, the breathing and the body synchronizations, the body, the leg, the arm, the distance, the breathing synchronization in the uh, Hendrik transform one and uh, Hendrik transform, the two transform there. It has to base on that because this, the entire thing is a, a, a momentum play and the Hendrik transform is actually the, the, the soul of the momentum play of a substract art. As I have shared with you, in the past video that is based on the Shaolin Sword Strike. So if you want to build a new Wing Chun from scratch, you need to get that, uh, that Hendrik Transform developed. Otherwise, you don't have base to have a martial arts, a momentum-based martial art like Chi Chi Guang. Now, or not even Chi Chi Guang. Today's every art you know is momentum based art. Okay. So this slow movement is like a is like a, a, a smooth wave, and a, the fast movement is like a, the, the the tidal wave. What is it? What is it? Well, let me share with you. This is the first time in past 160 years I give it out in the in the uh, in in the past.
Republic. In Chinese, Jing, quiet, Dong, uh, movement. Okay. It's actually, you can translate it today to understand it as passive and active. Passive. So when you say over here, slow movement is a calm, is as a calm, smooth wave. Slow movement is as a calm, smooth wave. It is talking about passive. Intense and fast movement is as violent wave. He talked about the, uh, the, 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 the active. Okay, so there's one the passive, one is the active. Now, Passive, the Chinese also call it Jing, quiet, still. Active, it is called about, uh, it, is, uh, it, it is named as uh, move, okay? Now, this passive and active is actually the building block the, the, the most basic foundation, uh, found, fundamental building block of a momentum play, namely fighting. You play the momentum game, you need to know the passive and the active. Okay, now, so passive is like what? Passive is like uh, you let you. Passive is actually you let your opponent take the initiations. Active is you take the initiations. So in any momentum play, you have to decide. At this condition right now, am I play the passive game or am I play the active game? So you choose active, passive. And you can have an active and passive, passive and active combinations. And within active, you can have different techniques combinations. Okay. So it's never it's hand techniques. Now, let me explain to you first before I show you an example so you know once for all now for the passive passive anything passive like you're waiting for your opponent the chinese call it jing, yi jing zi dong, using uh, quiet or using still to stillness to defeat your to, to, to manage your opponent in passive you need to be lively. If passive is not lively, it becomes sluggish. While well, you're looking to get beat up. In active, active, it needs a dynamic balance in active. If inactive, that is uh, chaos or out of control, then you are not executing active. You are just waiting to get beat up. Okay, so you have active and passive. In passive, you need to be lively. In active, you need to have dynamic balance in passive if you uh, you are uh, 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 you don't have the lively you become sluggish and you lost already 
okay whatever you do will not work timing wise and uh, execution some momentum wise in active you need to have dynamic balance if you don't have dynamic balance you tend turn into chaotic situations then you can fight okay got it you can might want to repeat this later on so now i want to share with you what is sluggish what is sluggish what is sluggish so that you can avoid it here on and what is chaos so in passive you want to be uh, lively in active you want to be dynamic balance okay in passive you don't want to be sluggish in active you don't want to be chaos in chaos an example of passive and and it is sluggish I'm going to share with you everybody almost all wing trainers is practice that today so remember okay for a proper wing chun you need to know the passive and active uh, hand uh, building block using this passive and active building block you can build up plan out your strategy your tactical your combinations of your momentum play if you don't know about passive and active you drop that already because you don't know how you play that game and even if you know the passive and active but if your passive is uh is, is, is uh, uh, sluggish you're looking for trouble your active is chaotic you're looking for trouble now what is uh, sluggish passive and sluggish sluggish or clumsy have you seen people go to MMA UFC doing this I will see that in the movie that is called passive and sluggish this is exactly passive and sluggish so passive and lively mean what passive and lively mean this okay because I'm passive and lively he cannot read me so why why do i might say that he cannot read me i put my hand here this is the authentic hand issue from heart as i just uh, asked you to take the picture just now okay you are actually cover up and it is likely because at this point the opponent have a difficulties to predict me either i shoot in from here or i shoot out from here to 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 to, to go to his side or i shoot into here or i shoot in from here or i'm going down for my knee, knee stance Quaima. so this is called passive and lively meaning i'm waiting for you to take initiations you take initiations and i have shoot in here shoot in here shoot in here shoot in here going down that's called passive and active passive and sluggish you're dead already right away why first thing your structure can your structure going down going this way going that way going that way you can so you look at in orders like the UFC the in the 1996 the wrestler the BJJ guy just look at you I know you are sluggish 
I know your structure going down and take you down right away because they can predict you. Okay? So, passive and sluggish. Your structure is the problem. You stand like that in the triangle, that is the problem. That's exactly sluggish. It is not passive. It is sluggish. And you can only go straight line like that. And then your hand, you put it out here. This is also sluggish. Just now in that book, I asked you to take a picture. Over there it says, your hand must not go out here. When your hand is go out there, it become a handle for your opponent. So you have to always keep it close to your body. The Southern Shot Strike have already tell it very clearly. So as far as I say, if I want to take the passive role, I want him to take initiative. I want to practice my uh, concede without concessions. And now, the opponent have to read me what I'm going to do. Well, but he will have a difficulties. If I'm good in this momentum, like the, if you train in the Hendrick transform, I can go straight, shoot in, I can go side, shoot in, I can go this way, shoot in, I can go this way, shoot in, I can go down, shoot in. So that is called passive roll and lightly. So all the movie who teaching you this, standing there to face your, your opponent, that is actually lead you to sluggish. Okay. So that is the problem. That's why if you train that way, your Wing Chun will never work in the momentum game like today. Because the first thing on the the uh, the the, the, uh, the the passive role, you already lost. People read you and your body cannot support the liveliness. Now that is the passive building block or passive role in momentum plane. Now, for the active, active meaning I take initiations. Now, if you look at today's, the Wing Chun, it is called chaotic. Why? The Wing Chun initiations is mostly going this. Either they charge in, or they try to say or oh, protect their body using the stand, the structure, doing that. When you do that, you are actually creating a chaos in your in your body. Why? Either you go out straight line, like a a car which is lost, its brake is going to is going to crash, or you are braking. your wheel, why you want to accelerate. And it's only go direct in a direct line. Let's go chaotic. Your opponent, remember, when you take the, 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 the active role, your opponent, a good one, will turn into a passive role to look at you. And it's going to come in to take you out from your from, from your weakness. So, today's Wing Chun, all this chain pan straight line and all this easy coming on my this training on that chaotic situations. Now, how is Wing Chun 1850s or Shaolin Short Strike or Chi Chi Guang going in? Well, 
But in these positions, you get in, for example, you get in, you need to shoot in, you shoot in, okay? So at these positions, you jamming this, you put this into uh, defensive, your body is uh, actually pressurizing, your leg is actually attacking him already. Remember the, uh, the, the Hendrick transform training? If this miss, right away, what happened? It go into recycling momentum and it go to this way already. So the attack, it could be this way, the recycling momentum this way. It never is chaotic where you don't even know how to manage your momentum. Either it's like a car without brake is waiting for a crush and you cannot pull back, no return, or you are braking while you're trying to, 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 to accelerate. So the bottom line of active and have dynamic balance is the momentum recycling, right? You can go here, you can go here, you can go back and forth. And always is this issue from heart. So that is the active. And yet, you look at today's Wing Chun, it's called, this is actually sluggish, clumsy. This is chaotic. That's why you can keep in training this. You can keep in training this. You can never play in the momentum world. That's the reason why everybody give it an alibi, an excuse. Wing Chun is a concept-based art. You train this, we train you how to train, how to punch, and then uh, how to uh, asking your structure and everything well, in the real life, sorry. All of what it is, is opposite of what the, the, the 1850s Wing Chun's or Southern Short Strike or General Chi Chi Kong are. So it is a price that today's Wing Chun is no can do. When you face the uh, MMA, when you face Xi Xiaodong, for past, uh, how many years? Since 1975, the Kyokushin opened until today. It is not a surprise. You look at that, that the guy get KO in the, uh, in the Kyokushin open. It's doing those kind of chaotic thing and people just go turn it out, shoot it in the side and KO him. Because people playing what? Dynamic balance. You look at the Kyokushin guy is playing dynamic balance in active, while in act, act, uh, active. You look at the uh, UFC 1996 versus the wrestler or versus the the uh, the the, the jujitsu guy. When you're standing like that, that is you're playing sluggish. Passive, people can take it down over. People can read you. You look at with the Xi Xiaotong, the same thing. You actually only have this uh, chaotic, active. When Xi Xiaotong go move in, Xi Xiaotong is playing active, dynamic balance with Ting Hao. So, now you learn today. If you know the passive building block, active building block, how they're supposed to work, then you can play this game. Sometimes you become, you play passive role using the uh, passive building block. Sometimes you, you play the active role. 
using the uh, active block, building block. And uh, you can have combinations in passive. You don't want him to read you how you're going to come in. In active is you charge it in right away and you can change the angle and so forth so that the opponent is not just uh, fighting you force with force or when he changes, you don't know what to do. And you don't actually have your body tie you down. Right? When you just do this, you like a car, you go for crush. When you're going to using this, you're just breaking when you want to accelerating. So this is what I have to share with you. The passive building block, active building block. You need that Hendrick transform to have your body trained with your momentum and everything you know, in, in the YouTube yesterday. And on top of that, you know, are you going to play passive role here, active role here? And then on top of that, you build your uh, different fighting momentum combinations or tactic or strategy. So if you don't know about this passive and active, you never heard about it, even worse, you know where you're going to end up. Okay? So, as Horatio promised Hamlet, I'm going to tell you a story. Today, I tell the story for you already. So, Wing Chuners, now you know why it doesn't work. Why Bruce Lee call it land swimming? Because you don't know the passive and active. You don't know what is the passive game to play, what you need to, to, to have there, and uh, the criteria to satisfy. You don't know how the active you need to play. But if you look into other martial arts, Western boxing, they have the active and passive. And with that, they, they build up to feign, to, to bait the, 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 the opponent. You go to BJJ, the same thing. Are you play, uh, playing passive role or active role? You go to Thai boxing, same thing. You go to Kyokushin, same thing. So, as what I say, since I promised Hamlet to tell his story, now I tell you the story. The rest is up to you. And all this is based on the Chinese reading, uh, writing. I do not create anything. I am not any type of grandmaster. I am just like Horatio, tell Hamlet's story. And now, those who make movies, it's better to stop preaching on this lack of understanding on passive or active. No clue on it is clumsy or it is uh, chaotic. Like in the movie, usually you see people, oh, you punch you, you just do a bong sao, and then you come back and punch in. Man, that's called sluggish. So you ask me, so what is, uh, is non-sluggish? What Chi Chi Kuang already tell you already? He shot you, you should you come in already. Your bones out here. Your elbow smash him already. And then all this come. Now you take the initiations. Now you become active. Passive, he come, going, in zero. He punch you, bones out, and then come here. And you teach all your Wing Chun like that. Man, you're just asking them to get beat up, okay? Or punch out, and then you punch, and then you just go punch like this. So what is the proper way of doing punch out? Well, you get in. Receive it, get in. Attack him right away. And you change, you change. You attack, continue, right? That's called active. If you, if you read the last interview of uh, Grandmaster Yitman, he said, Tan Bong Fok, receive. 
But today's Tan Bong Fok is forward pressure. How the hell are you going to forward pressure when people do an initiation at you? Strong momentum come in. Have you seen anybody win in MMA, UFC, even the VC uh, Xiaodong or in Kyokshin Open? You never, it doesn't work. The Tan Bong Fok is about receiving and get in. It's about to initiate that, that, that active attack, like the tidal wave attack, and have a dynamic balance, it keeping changing, like a sickle cutting. Remember, we always talk about Wing Chun is like sickle cutting both ways, cut one way, go another way. Just how, how, how this implement? So this is for you today. I know many people might in shock. Again, I have no disrespect on all those in past 130 years. I'm just plain lucky. As an American over here, I have all this document. I have met so many people. I found out what is going on. And this is the country I can say it out Share it out without loading. In Asia, you might not be able to make this view tube today. Okay? Because of the culture thing. And also with this, stop all those Taiji, internal, whatever. You don't even solve the problem of the passive and active building block, block or role. You cannot play in that. Momentum play. What is your Taiji and all this thing do? It's only create more mess into mess. Does it solve anything? It doesn't solve anything. Also, Wing Chun is never Wang Chun, Shaolin Wang Chun, Eternal Spring. The Shaolin Wang Chun have what I just shared with you. What? Well, before in Grandmaster Yip Man time, 50 years ago, even though Grandmaster Iman want to clarify this, his hand is tight. Today, with what I share with you, with the Hendrix Transform, all those books and all this writing, you know Wing Chun never is Wang Chun. So, Shaolin Wang Chun is a different art. Wing Chun is a different art. Those two don't mix. This needs to be cleared out. We know what it is already. I share with you what it is already the base. You have the, uh, the Hendrick transform, the breathing, the body, the momentum. You have the passive and active. Today I share with you. Isn't that is the building block already? If you invest on it, you proficient in it. That's what I just shared with you. Well, Tan Sao is simple. This is Tan Sao. Bong Sao is simple. This is Bong Sao. All your techniques is applicable. But if you don't have that uh, Hendrick transform, you don't have the passive and active, you have no idea on this, a hand technique is a hand technique. Your body, your structure, everything become Lead, mislead you. So do you want to train your structure and your mind power, tilting your tailbone in your shielding power? Sorry, those things doesn't work. It never work for your body in the qigong breathing, in trap abdominal pressure. It doesn't work in the active and uh, passive play. Not, not in 450 years ago in Qi Qi Guang time, not in 100 30 years, uh, 160 years ago in the uprising, not today. So why are you want to keep training them? Like your uh, uh, chum kill, the dragging of the step. How does it work in the passive and active? In the Chinese called Tong Jing. So this Tong Jing, active passive, you get into the Qi Qi Guang, is, is, the, is there say that the momentum transform to another momentum. And the, the, the opponent cannot predicate that's called superior. 
And this momentum transfer, you go back to where? Sun Tzu, the art of war. The Chinese is fighting momentum. So he said that momentum is like uh, the rock roll down from the hill. The momentum is like water. You get back to like uh, Bruce Lee. Be like water, my friend. So if you don't know the the hundred transform to, to develop your body with the momentum recycling, momentum, your, 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 the entire thing, you don't know the passive, active, which role you want to play. You don't know how to play each role. This is just a very basic, not get into the uh, tactical uh, strategy combo thing yet. If you don't have that, you are living in a black white world. Why everybody living in a colorful world? How you play in this? Active role or passive role? How is the combinations? How is the recycling of momentum? It is beauty, it is art. Until then, there is no martial arts. So this is uh, to share with you. That's why I ask people to live in the beginning of this YouTube. Can you take it? This is the reality of Wing Chun. I pointed out what is the problem. I pointed out how to fix that. I pointed out it's not me who upgrade this. The ancestors teaching is like that. But 99.99% of people don't know is keeping techniques, hand techniques, chi sao hand techniques, chi kick. So is chi kick passive or active? Chi sao is active or passive? 